What's up guys? Benny Blanco EV here. It is Tuesday, June 14th, 2022. And it is 73 degrees out and sunny at 11.50 in the morning. And today we are going to make a video on our gear that we use with the Aerial Rider D-Class when we are out riding. And also, we will uh, go over my EDC that I have on me at all times. But first, we'll start with the gear that we use. Here we have uh, an ILM modular uh, full face helmet and it is DOT approved and it has a vent in the back, a vent on top and a vent on the bottom here and uh, the chin guard flips up we also have uh, some shades that come down through the use of a lever here on the side flip that and it flips right down and that is our helmet that we use every day and it is a uh, it's a medium which uh, fits me perfectly and uh, it's super comfy and it, uh, as you can see it's gotten some use not from falling or anything but from being used every day and uh, I, I love the I love that helmet it's been great uh, it came with uh, all these helmets came with uh, nice bags to keep them in uh, moving on we have our backup helmet and this is also an ILM uh, I believe the model is called vintage modular helmet and the cool thing about this helmet is the chin guard flips all the way back out of the way and this also has uh, some shades that flip down uh, this one I accidentally ordered a, as a large and uh, it's just a little big on me uh, it works as a backup helmet but uh, I very very seldomly use it um, and the thing about this one is uh, it, it just looks with this uh, with this shield down it just looks it just looks super bubbly and big on me uh, maybe if I had gotten the medium it would look better but Our third helmet is a half helmet from LS2 and it has a vent at the top here and it also has these shades that pull down like so and uh, we very seldomly use this one as well actually I don't think we've ever used this one to be honest uh, I do like the idea of having the uh, full uh, helmet rather than the half helmet here we have our gloves that we use and these ones I use about I'd say 90% of the time they're ILM's and they're uh, the goat skin leather and uh, they're very comfy uh, and they have vents on top they have the hard knuckles and uh, yeah these gloves are great the only thing is uh, they're hard to get to to work with the touch screen on your phone even though they're uh, made for it. it's it's a little touchy and a little finicky over here we have uh, rock bros uh, gloves there's some sort of stretchy fabric and they have the, uh, the rubber uh, protection on top and they also have padding 
on the insides here. And uh, these work great with a smartphone touch screen. So if I ever need to, if I, if I know I'm gonna need to use the, uh, the phone for GPS or anything like that, uh, these are the gloves I'm gonna wear. Uh, they also can be used in the rain. These goat skin leather gloves would probably get ruined in the rain. So it's nice to have two different kinds of gloves to wear. All right, so that's it for our helmets and gloves. For our jackets, this is our everyday jacket. It's an ILM, uh, I don't know the specific model of it, but uh, it's got this mesh fabric here. And you can actually, I'm not sure if that's gonna come through on camera, but you can see through it through the, with the light behind it. So it's, uh, it's actually pretty breathable. It's armored, it's got uh, armor in the elbows, the shoulders, and the back. And uh, this is the jacket I took a small spill on, on some uh, gravel, and uh, it saved me pretty good. I think I fell on my left elbow and my left knee and uh, didn't do anything to the jacket. It came with a liner. We took the liner out since the weather is so nice now. So that's our uh, ILM jacket. And uh, I can't say enough good things about it. Here we have our uh, backup jacket. And it's a HWK. I guess that's how you say it. Uh, motorcycle jacket. And it's got uh, air vents. It's got uh, padding on the elbows, shoulders, and the back of it. And uh, both of these are large. Uh, the ILM fits me perfectly. The HWK is rather rather big on me. Um, so if you uh, if you're looking into one of these, just know that they run a little large. Here we have our uh, backpacks that we uh, ride with. Um, this is our UTG uh, tactical backpack. And we threw some uh, LED lights on it for riding at night. It's a sling type backpack and it has a quick release, which is pretty awesome. And it's got a bunch of different pockets and uh, different sections for storing stuff. And in this bag, this is pretty much my everyday riding bag. We keep our uh, mount for our, our GoPro for our helmet, which mounts to our helmet like so. So that's where we keep our mount. These, uh, we keep uh, backup prescription glasses in our uh, backpack that we take with us. You know, we also have some uh, other, I think it was just some Amazon a uh, tactical backpack that uh, has a lot more storage than the uh, these other two backpacks. Here we have our Oakley kitchen sink. And uh, we ordered it just because we thought it looked cool. Uh, we threw on some uh, LED lights for riding at night. And it uh, has this nice storage on top where you can keep your sunglasses and a bunch of different uh, sections for different stuff. So that's what uh, that's what we use to ride, guys. That's our uh, safety gear and our uh, storage as far as backpacks go. I'll try and leave links for all this stuff in the description if you guys are interested in any of this stuff. Check it out. I think I got most of it, if not all of it, on Amazon. Uh, as a bonus, we'll show you what we got for our EDC Everyday Carry. So this is the stuff we have on us every day that we carry in our pockets and on our belt. In our bottom left cargo pocket, we keep a case with our GoPro in it, which we're using to record right now. We also keep our three backup batteries for the GoPro Hero 8 Black. Uh, comes with three batteries. 
backup batteries and uh, those uh, come in handy for sure uh, we have our Jabra earbuds and our uh, Apple AirPods so all that there is our bottom left cargo pocket our left pocket front pocket is our phone our front right pocket is our keys I usually keep the bike keys for the battery in my uh, jacket pocket uh, we keep a pen and a sharpie in our front right pocket lighter our palm OC spray and our Kershaw Emerson pocket knife so that's our front right pocket our right cargo pocket we keep this little organizer with a backup sharpie a backup flashlight a backup knife a small little portable battery uh, a wall charger and underneath that is a bunch of different uh, charging cords uh, mini USB type C lightning and a few adapters our back right pocket we keep our wallet and moving on to our belt we keep our uh, key clip with our two most used keys here we have a Leatherman rebar multi-tool and this uh, I cannot say enough good things about it comes in handy uh, at least at least three or four times a week for me and along with that we have uh, a bunch of Leatherman bits that can be used with the rebar and it has a I don't know how many are there but there's a bunch of different types of bits and in that case we also have backup batteries for our Phoenix PD35 tactical flashlight and this thing is a it's a decent size but it's not too small not too big and uh, it it is a uh, very bright uh, bright enough that if you have it on the highest setting in the sheath it'll burn a hole through the sheath so I guess pretty hot and pretty bright if you want it to so that's gonna do it for uh, this video guys I know it was a short one but we just wanted to show you the gear that we use when we're riding and that we have on us uh, for our EDC so once again I'll try and leave the links to most of most of this stuff if I can uh, in the description and uh, if you like this video uh, and all this gear uh, go ahead and hit those like and subscribe buttons and the notification bell if uh, you want to be alerted to new videos dropping from Benny Blanco EV here so hope you guys have a great day We'll probably go out riding a little bit later today, but for now, that's going to do it. See you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.